Hello guys, and today I want to provide you with a brief update on new processing points that turn Russian invaders into good Russians. I hope you sense my sense of humor and we'll talk a bit about Krynke in Kherson region on the left bank of Dnipro river. My name is Anna and I vlog daily from Ukraine since the start of the brutal Russian invasion. So if you're new to the channel, you support Ukraine, please subscribe and help us fight. Informational warfare is very real. And my longtime friends, check your subscription status and hit notification button. So for months, Avdiivka was a center of huge Russian sacrifices. Approximately a thousand soldiers is wasted there daily for the sake of Putin's image. It goes without saying that with his elections approaching, they will need some symbolic victories and they will be ready to execute even more of their soldiers on getting Avdiivka. What they plan to do in two weeks, they did not manage to do in a number of months and hopefully they won't manage to do it in future. Also, I think it's correctly to say not the elections of the president of Russia, but Putin's elections, because there is no other option. Imagine what a crazy country when all the world understands there is no choice, there is no will, but Everyone still treats Russia as a real country and Putin as a real president and a real candidate. I don't know what is wrong with this world, honestly. If you're on the side of good and you're not yet subscribed, remember to join our community and that's the easiest way to demonstrate your solidarity with Ukraine. So after Avdiivka, which continues to be a huge mass grave for Russians and literally lots of their videos demonstrate things that YouTube will not allow because they literally walk on the courses of their own uh, countrymen and soldiers who came to Ukraine. Another point that is getting hotter is near Krynke village, which is on the left bank of Dnipro river in Kherson region. We all know that it is more than a year that Kherson was liberated, but Russians continue shelling it, proving their tradition that if they don't have something, they need to destroy it. It is actually one of the reasons why they started war against Ukraine. They did not like the development of a normal democracy nearby. So it's not just about money, it's not just about resources, it's not about NATO or demonstration of power. It is the desire to destroy something that is normal near by you instead of developing yourself. So uh, that's what they continue doing to Kherson, not, abling, not being able to keep it. They continue shelling the city very severely and moving to the left bank, creating Platzdarm for Ukrainian armed forces. Keeping this Platzdarm is extremely important for the success of Ukrainian counteroffensive. It is a huge breakthrough of Ukrainian Marines to be able to cross the uh, river, to be able to build this platform for further movement of Ukrainian armed forces on the left side of the river. And now Russians are trying to fight with Ukrainian Marines, bringing more and more uh, tanks and people, but typically they drop some uh, groups and the, uh, they leave them, then these groups are destroyed by Ukrainian armed forces and they bring new ones. So another Russian waste uh, processing point is shaping there. What is also important, and I'm really proud of that, Ukrainian armed forces are using lots of new technologies to fight against Russians, thus saving Ukrainian lives. Please let me know, would you like to have a more um, develop like video about Ukrainian army of drones because many Ukrainian operations are conducted and back up by drones and lots of volunteering initiatives inside Ukraine are actually uh, collecting money for the army of drones and many Russians especially those neutralized near Krynke describe that the last thing they saw before being injured before being hit uh, is a Ukrainian drone of course, this is the best way to fight and uh, many Ukrainian vloggers, many Ukrainian military men say that we have to try and do our best so that we have five, six drones per one Russian orc. And this is how actually this war is turning into a new technological dimension. 
So uh, the number of this Russian processing points that turn invaders into good Russians is growing. Of course, they are keep coming, but I am proud to think that Ukrainians try to use more and more technologies to waste more Russians without spending Ukrainian lives. Uh, anyway, uh, the winter is cold, the environment is pretty rough and uh, hopefully we will be able to protect our infrastructure as it is also important for the backup of the front lines. Tonight, uh, Russians attacked Kyiv with uh, drones and with ballistic missiles. It's impossible to catch ballistic missiles and to warn about them. Um, with air defense uh, alerts, but um, we managed to stop them with air defense systems. Eight of Russian ballistic missiles were stopped by Ukrainian air defense systems tonight at dawn, which is another example that we are growing stronger with your support and also that Russians are wasting billions of money. Because actually, this... Uh, Every ballistic missile is extremely expensive and instead of developing their own infrastructure, building toilets and roads, they are spending it on matters in Ukraine, but now simply on our air defense systems that are able to stop them. So please, in the comments, let me know, would you like a video on Ukrainian drones, uh, specific Ukrainian developments? Also, I'm super happy to be finally back home. Winter is definitely not the best period for traveling, though my stay in Prague was really beautiful. Also, let me know what are the other topics you would like to hear on the channel and join our community if you're new. Thank you once again for buying me coffees, becoming my patrons. Introduce yourself to our merch. We have lots of interesting items that can work as good conversation starters and really warm Christmas presents. Join my Instagram threads, Twitter and Discord community. But most importantly, thank you for standing with Ukraine. Slava Ukraini!